Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Did you know that 80% of the students at community colleges are taking courses below the community college level? Well, Nabil Atik is a professor at Antelope Valley College, and he wants to change that. It's called the Basic Skills Initiative. Good to see you, Nabil. Good to see you, too. Wow, 80% of the students are taking just like remedial math and things that Correct. they should have learned yes. in junior high? Remedial math or ESL, remedial writing or remedial remedial reading classes, that's correct, at least one basic skills class. Now they have fallen through the cracks somewhere along Definitely, the way. Definitely, yeah. They've had a hard time in, in school, in high school or middle school, and as a result they're having to take these remedial courses. And the numbers are pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, in some colleges the numbers are upwards of 90 percent, could be even 100 percent, close to 100 percent. At AVC, at Antelo Valley College, about 90 percent of the students, they, they, they're taking a basic skills math class when they come in. They're we, afraid of math. They're afraid of math. Some of them have, have math anxiety. They've had a bad experience with math in the past, and they've placed into these lower level math classes. So and, something needs to be done. And so you have them. How do you make math fun and interesting to get them out of this rut they're in where they fear it so much? Well, I don't uh, teach in the traditional way. I, I don't just you know lecture on the board and expect them to just understand everything. Um, I definitely use group work in my class classrooms where students get to work with each other for about half the time and I've incorporated in-class tutors in the classroom. So it's not just me helping them when they're working in groups, but I have two tutors walking the room at the same time. Now these are students that normally might not seek the help of tutors. They might not go out to the learning center to you know, seek the help of tutors, but now I'm bringing the tutors to them in the classroom. And some of them, they develop, some of the students develop bonds with the tutors, and as, as a result, they seek their help later as well. So that's one thing. I'm also using technology in the classroom. I use a, a PC tablet to lecture, so I can have the classroom in front of me and face them the whole time. And I can write on, it's like a laptop that you can write on the screen, and everything gets projected to the board. So I can actually face my students and establish eye contact, and I can you know, kind of see their expressions, you know, are they getting the material or not. So I'm, I'm also using technology in the classroom. It sounds to, to me, Nabil, like you're taking a very personal approach with these students. I am, definitely. Um, I think um, if I make the students comfortable in my classroom and let them know that, you know, I'm going to find a way to help them as opposed to leaving them hanging, um, you know, they feel more comfortable. And so I, I'd like to know my students' names. By the middle of the semester, I know every single student's names. And also, um, a little bit about them, you know, their background, you know, where they came from, what problems they're having, and sometimes knowing those things, um, you know, helps them succeed, helps me succeed in my job as well. So. How about you? What is your background? Um, I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, it's a country very far from here, but, uh, and I grew up in uh, London, um, Rome, and Bombay when I was a child. So um, basically, I went through different educational systems, and it was very tough as a child changing schools mm, and changing yeah. systems. And in some places, uh, for instance, when I went to, to India from, uh, from Italy, I went to an American school in Italy, the, the math that they were doing was a year ahead of, of what I learned. So I had to fill a gap of a year. So I struggled. I struggled a lot with math, with, with English, with other things as well. And um, so I had to find ways of overcoming you know, those problems. And, I feel that I can use some of that in my classroom. Yeah, you share that with your I students. Look, if I student. did it, you can do it too. Exactly. Look what all I overcame. Exactly. And they must feel that you're very approachable. If they don't understand something, they can see you after class or before Always. class. Always, exactly. Like if I can't, if they can't make my office hours, I'll try to meet them outside my office hours. I'll let them know that, look, I'm not going to leave you hanging again. I'm going to try to, to help you. So I think one of the most important things is the attitude and making personal connections with our students and we're trying to spread the news and that's also part of the basic skills initiative you know i think the first step is opening the door to help our students and take away some of the fear that, take away that, some and, of the fear. and anxiety right exactly exactly very interesting well you might see more students coming in this next semester right <laughs> yes yes that's true the Pre current situation. be prepared for the onslaught Definitely. Nabil Atik, a professor at Antelope Valley College talking about the basic skills initiative thank you so much for joining us here on local edition I'm Bella Shaw